Yeah, go ahead and burn all that. Burn it all! Flame on. The Ethiopian race got its name from the root word, ether, which means, our origin is the sun. Ether is the prominent life-giving energies that the sun produces, called sunshine, star shine, and the heat of the world. Ether means, burning like life, and black like space, the perfect existence. Life itself is indeed a burning. Sunshine is ether, and is the origin of black people. With the Ethiopian, our blackness is inherent from the sun, since we are the sun's original offspring. The Ethiopian race is direct descendants of the sun, and the prosperity of the sun's physical and visible light, sunshine, the suns themselves, fire, heat, electricity, natural universe ether, and even life itself, are black like space, and this is why these energies turn persons and things black, whenever they come in contact with these powers long enough. The sun has empowered us Ethiopians with the same powers of the sun, the power to be black, and, to produce black offspring. The blackness of the African race shines like the surface of the sun and his energies. The skin of black people is black because, like the sun, we Ethiopians have in our reproductive system and bone marrow, what is called, sun heat genes. These sun heat genes become part of the blood, and they emanate outward to the skin, and the sun heat genes burn the skin black. The more sun heat genes one has, the blacker the person will be. Natural ether is natural fire that naturally burns whatever, or whoever, it comes in contact with, and this is why when people go out on the beach in the sunshine, they become darker. For black people, this sunshine is within the genes, and is called melanin by mundane scientists, and sun genes by universe scientists. The sun genes, of African race black people, are originally produced by sun energies, and this is why the black skin of the people of the Ethiopian race, is supposed to shine. Therefore, being black is being superior in color, because, the suns of the universe are jet black, and they are superior to all other universal bodies. Hence, black is not only beautiful, but also, the best and purest of the colors. A member of the Ethiopian race, may philosophically be called a pitch nova, which means, among other positive things, the black new star. The sun gives off ether in the form of what is called prominences. The sun has antennae called granulation, and Ethiopians woolly hair looks like that granulation, so our woolly hair may correctly be called granulation. If one puts a straight strand of hair closer and closer to a fire, that strand of hair will granulate, that is, ball up, because of the potency of the heat. The Ethiopian carries a sun within, and we appeared on planet earth at a time, when no other race could survive in the earth's atmosphere, because just after creation, the atmosphere was too dense and potent. The African pygmy gods, the ancestors of modern-day Ethiopians, grew the universes in their sun-fire form, then as time progressed, they personified themselves as flesh and blood beings at the source of the Nile River in Mother Africa. Only Ethiopians with sun heat genes, could survive and live in Earth's original atmosphere, and we had to be much stronger than those of mankind who came much later. In other words, the sun heat genes in the African pygmies, were so dense and potent in their bone marrow and reproductive system, they turned the hair kinky, as fire does to a straight strand of hair. Hence, woolly hair is superior to straight hair, as the suns are superior to other universal bodies. Woolly hair by nature assures the Ethiopian that he and she are the originals on the planets, thereby the original personifications of the suns. Black skin is sun skin, and, woolly hair is sun hair. Like the sun, woolly hair symbolizes potency, originality, and life. Life springs from an acid base, and is perpetuated by that acid base, and of course, acids burn, so hence, life is a burning. When the burning stops, that is the end of the individual's personal life, because the purpose of the body is to provide the conditions for the burning, that is life.